I'm Nana Aquir. Welcome if you've just tuned in. Now, there is always something going on in the royal household, and this week has been no different because each Saturday I like to give you a little bit of a royal rundown. I'm joined in the studio with uh, royal biographer Angela Levin. Angela. It's been a busy, busy old time, hasn't it? Megan's been spouting off in her podcast. I mean, w w what is your view of the, the, how this podcast is going down at the moment, and especially what the royal family is saying, if they're saying it anything? It was very interesting. Just before she did it, she said that she wanted to speak without anybody fil filtering out what she said. She wanted mm. to say the real me, so we'd all get to know that. I think she's put herself right down the drain, actually. <laughs> um, I think people have all around the world, not just the UK, mm. I felt that um, her behaviour is not appropriate at any level about anyone. I mean, there were several lies that she said as well. One was the N-word, which um, people don't use about her children. I can't imagine that any mm. journalist would do that today. She hasn't got any proof. Another was that she couldn't take her Archie to school because there'd be about 40 photographers there every single day. Well, there's a law in this country mm. that you can't do that. You can go and take a small um, royal child on the first day of term and that's it. You, you leave them alone and it's obeyed. And yeah. it's not obeyed by the photographers, it's obeyed by the press. But she didn't do that. But another one which really fascinated me was that she said that she didn't have to sign anything while she was at the royal family, so she can say anything she liked. Whereas what she said in Opera Winfrey was that they silenced her. Mm. So They took her passports, apparently, and everything else. That's well, she went on 18 holidays the year that they took her passports. I can't imagine they would let her out the country without that. Um, but, you know, the, the, it's... it's um, and really, it was all about her. Mm. She wants to align herself with extremely rich women so that they become a group. But actually, she always has to win. And extraordinarily, she thinks that we all want to know. Mm. And that, for example, when she was called a diva, that she's, she told us in detail about how she sweated. Well, you know, we don't really want to know that, <laughs> do we? But I thought that both of them have been just quite dreadful. Mm. And I think now coming over here, um, it's very difficult for the royal family to see her because anything they say, she'll take it down and use it as evidence against them, whatever it is they say. She's right, she's got a diary, she wants to write another um, angry um, book about her a terrible time with the royal family. Um, she, she did it, she did her, po her podcast the week at the Diana's anniversary of her death, mm. which I think was totally inappropriate. The Queen is not well, we all know that, yet she just blasts her way through. I've never known anybody quite like that who won't actually have any empathy for anyone, yet will go and talk to people. She's going to One World where she's talking to 190 <laughs> people about how they should be, how the... And I think nobody should allow her there because who wants to be like that? Well, she seems to have, and she has a lot of people who want to be like her or emulate her, the Sussexes, there's some sort of... There's some sort of the Sussex squad or whatever they call themselves. Um, and then there was that comment that she made about uh, the fact that people in South Africa celebrated like yes. uh, when Nelson Mandela was released from prison. That's the key one. I should have said that first. I mean, well, well, but, 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 but I mean, the these are all... The was uh, uh, received in about yeah. the same happiness that when Mandela left the prison. Well, that's, you know, beyond <laughs> reason. Yeah. And his uh, grandson said that um, it was absolute nonsense. She should never have done that. But she said it came from when she went to see a theatre, The Lion King, mm. and there's only, there was only one black person there, and he said he never said anything like that. He wouldn't dream of saying anything like that. Well, he said that. he didn't even speak to her. That's what he said. Yeah. He didn't speak so to her or anything. Um, Megan's truths are not many other people's truths. Mm. But I think people don't realise, understand the detail of it, um, and that's why they support her. I can't believe people can support someone who is so unkind and um, 
thinks of just herself. Mm, and the fact that she wasn't aware that she was a diva and took great umbrage at being called that, which yeah. is Mariah Carey was absolutely right in pointing it out. And she went, oh, you have your diva moments. And you could hear her going, what, me, diva? And she started talking over Mariah Carey. So Mariah Carey couldn't say any more, which seems to be the tactic she uses across that podcast. And it, it, I, I, I haven't been able to listen to the whole thing. Her voice, her accent, everything grates on me as she's speaking, because I know... A lot of it doesn't sound like it's true. And also, she hasn't come and said anything about the things that were written in Tom Bauer's book. And no. that speaks volumes to me. Yes, well, they've got a year before they can sue. Mm. So maybe she's building up and working out through every single thing they would like to uh, catch. Um, but I, I just think that the whole point is that she wanted a life that was free, and yet she's clinging on to being a royal. She uses her title all the time um, and she hates it but wants it. I mean, it's a very peculiar place to be. Well, she needs it, I think, is well, the truth. Well, she does need it to make lots of money. But actually, you could be a little bit nicer about it, even if it was very difficult to her. But she was in and out very, very quickly. Mm. She, I don't think she gave it a chance. No, I don't think she did. And I th actually think the Queen should strip them off their titles. I think that's the only answer that will stop them from but talking. It has to be done by the government, and she can't really do Really? That. So the government would have to do it? Well, maybe I we should all put a petition. I hope that's one of the things that on the list, actually. Maybe we should put... Can, can we write a petition? and ask for that if I it's to the government. I think there should be a petition about stripping of them of the titles. Then <laughs> let's do it. Angela, you and me, we'll do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I will definitely I back that so petition. Because if it's the government that can do it and we don't need to wait for the Queen, I think a lot of people don't actually know that. Yeah. So that, that's, that's a spoiler right here. So I think we need to get on with it. Somebody, if you're watching now, I think we can, we can do this. We'll do this together.